Hello everyone. In this video, we will learn how to add multiple data levels for a column chart or any other visuals in Power BI. Let me switch to the computer for the demo. So from Power BI desktop visual gallery, first I will add a column chart here on the report page. So let me add just the size of the column chart. And now from data table, I will add a country on X axis and I have a major sum of order quantity as you can see sum of order quantity. So I will add it here on Y axis. So now you can see the country wise sum of order quantity. Now let me enable a data level. So I will go to the formatting option of this visual and here you can see the data level. I will just enable it. So now you can see the data level, sum of order quantity. So let me just fine tune this data level. I will come to value and I will increase the font size to, to 12 and make it bold. And I will select the color some dark blue. Okay. Now this is fine. Now I have another measure. I will show you here. So this is the average of order quantity that also I want below the order quantity. So how to do this? So in the same data level of option, you can come down and here you will see one more option detail. Just enable the detail and expand the detail. And here you can see the option add data. So here I will add average of order quantity. So now you can see here something in added 0k something. So we'll do the formatting. So first we will increase the font size. And here we will make it like, you know, or we'll make it black color. Okay. And we'll make it bold. So or we'll make it red color. And we'll make it bold and we'll come down and we'll do the formatting. So display unit will be none. Now you can see the so many decimal places is added. So we'll remove it and we'll restrict to two. So now we'll say two. So now you can see here the order quantity 42 K and average is 3.65. So two data level is added. If you want to enable a title, you can also enable a title. Let me go little up and here you can see Here you can see the title. Just uh, if, if you click on the title, you will see the order quantity title is added. And let me expand. And here you can see the content is a series name. And here you will see one more option custom if you have uh, some custom title. So you can add it here, add data. So this is your custom title. If you select a series title, so it will be the order quantity because on Y axis, we have a order quantity. From here, you can also increase, decrease the font size and make it a bold or something like that. So you can do that. So same thing you can also do for the line chart. So let me show you that one also. So now let me add a line chart here. And in the line chart, I will add sales date on X axis and from the sales date, I will remove quarter and day. And now on Y axis, I will add a order quantity, sum of order quantity, and I will just make it month and year from here. Now I will go to the data level. So here you can see the data level. I will enable a data level. So data level is enabled. I will increase the font size of the data level. So I'll make it 12 and I will make it some color like, you know, this color and dark bold, bold. So now you have to come down to add a average. And here again, you will find the detail. Just enable the detail expand the detail and here you will see the option now you have to add average from your data mod table and you can also increase the font size here 
and here we will select some different color yellow color uh, yellow is very light actually so we'll make it red color okay and we will change the display unit because it is showing the 0, 0.0 k so we'll say none now again there is a so many decimal place and we'll restrict to two so now you can see for the line chart order quantity and average of order quantity and here you can also enable a title if you want so you can see that order quantity and the average that's all for this video and i request you to please subscribe my channel thank you for watching